you our lord we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we thank you our king we thank you our lord we thank you the lord almighty we give you all the praise we give you all the honor you deserve to be praised this morning we thank you our god we bless your holy name king eternal we give you glory we give you praise Empire in an essay and obey on Father in an anomum. In fifty years here, could see the Madian in our way in our one in some onion your pay, when a new yam and your case here, Mr. Nea Bompire, Judge Madian in Ashen Yakopo San Opey. Oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name, our God. We thank you for what your strength and your ability can do. We give you all the glory for what you have done today. We pray in the name of Jesus. We commit, oh God, this morning's deliberations into your hands. The beginning and the end, oh God, are yours. For you are our Alpha and you are our Omega. We give you all the praise that you will reign supreme, oh Lord, and that you will rule in your majesty, and that your glory, oh Lord, shall be felt. You are the Lord, you are our God, you are our King, and you are the head eternal, oh Lord. Have your way, oh Lord, this morning. Rule in your majesty. Take dominion over every affairs, Lord Jesus. Grant us a successful end. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Mestre and idiom one, I at him. Lord, we commit this program, O oh Lord, into your hands. We know, O oh God, you sit enthroned in the midst of your people. Have your way with your church and lead us on to a successful end. And at the end of it all, O oh Lord, we shall have every reason and every cause to bless your holy name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, now and forever, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Reverend Isel, God bless you so much. Once again, you are welcome to the holy matrimony, the solemnization of a holy matrimony between our father, Apostle Abed Amwa, retired, former general secretary for the Church of Pentecost, and Justice Lady Julia. This is East Ligon Worship Center. We welcome you warmly to our midst. Please look at the person seated. Uh, either at your left or your right, and just say you are warmly welcome. The right time will be introducing to you dignitaries. Let us call on the praise team to give us some hot praises for this morning. Let's bless the name of the Lord and thank God for what he is doing. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Please be on your feet. Please be on your feet. It's a wedding. It's a celebration. Hallelujah. Unkune nyu nyam sew. Unkune nyu nyam fatau. Jesus, when you nyam shire. Yes, shire.
Welcome to this wonderful ceremony. We warmly welcome you. I'd like to uh, do a few announcements. Somebody left these keys in the washroom. If you have misplaced your key, the key is a car key. If you've been found, please come for identification and collection. I also want to announce to you few things. Please, if you came here with a gift, there's a table at the back. So when you go there, I'll sort you out beautifully. What do you actually buy? What do you actually buy? Come on, come on. Okay, so offer, sorry, main door here. Now offer, if you go through the main door, and then the right turn, it takes you straight to the wash room. Those on the high table can access it directly from here. But if you are going out, we also want to announce that, please, uh, if anybody, if you're not very sure whether your car is well parked, you can check it. But we have very good security here to make sure your vehicle is safe. And so you may want to take note of these things. Whilst we are still in an anxious mood waiting for the bride, we'll go ahead with our Bible reading. We'll take our first Bible reading from Genesis 2, 1825. Elder Kweku Menu, if he's around, shall we put our hands together for Elder Kweku Menu? And then our second will be Ephesians 5, 21, 24, Dickness 50, Obeying Jesse. Praise the Lord. Reading from Genesis chapter 2, the verse 18 through to 25. Reading from the New Living Translation. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord God formed from the ground all the wild animals all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he will call them. And the man chose a name for each one. He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild animals. But there was no helper just right for him. So, the Lord God caused the man to fall into deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib, and he brought her to the man. At last, the man exclaimed, this one is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. and The two are united into one. Verse 25. Now, the man and his wife were both naked 
but they felt no shame. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. And we have the information that the bride is in. And so, we we'll want to usher in the bride. The ushers in front, please help us usher in the bride whilst we are on our feet for the choir to help us sing a song to bring in the bride. The choir. Oh, there is an audio. That's good. So, shall we be upstanding uh, whilst we pick up, see what the Lord has done? She in. She's not in. She's in. Somebody should help us there. I'm getting conflict information. All right, um, I, I, sorry for that. She's in, but uh, there are a few things that we are turning to her. She will walk in. Please, let her have a seat. But she's in. No anxiety at all. We will come right now. I know that we are very anxious. We want to welcome mommy. So we will take the second Bible reading whilst they are turning to a few things there and bring her in. Please, Mama Obin Jesse. Is Mama Obin Jesse here? Is she alright? Mama Obin Jesse. Right? It looks like Mama Obin Jesse has not yet arrived. Then let us invite Mrs. Mavis Osafo. I do. If you are here, could you come and do the second reading for us? Mrs. Mavis Osafo. Okay, I think she's also out there. Alright. Right? We want to acknowledge a few dignitaries and bring them up before we get to the recognition of other dignitaries. I want to invite uh, Apostle Amwa, who is the national head of the Church of Pentecost in the USA. Apostle Amwa, uh, Apostle, Apostle uh, Amwa Kong, the head of the USA Church. Apostle Amwa Kong, please, if you could come and join us here, God bless you so much. Uh, wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We also want to invite former General Secretary, Apostle Alfred Kudia. Papa, if you could also come and join us uh, here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're reading a second scripture uh, as the ushers get ready to get him mommy for us. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Reading verses 21 to 34. Ephesians chapter 5, 21 to 34. And I will submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, sub, Ephesians 5, 21 to 34. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. The husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. His body of which he is the Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives she submit to 
with your husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless in this same way husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself after all no one ever hated their own body but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church for we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I'm talking about Christ and the church. Verse 33 and 34. However, each one of you will also each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself. The wife must respect her husband. Amen. Um, are we ready? Right. Mommy is around. She will enter pretty soon. We're going to sing some praises. So we'll sing some praises as we wait for uh, Mommy to walk in. Kindly, we are aware that former, former, former general secretary is also in the house. Apostle Ridgewell Ato Addison. Uh, Papa, if you are here, can you join us upstage? Yes, Papa is here. Papa is here. Papa, please, can you join us upstage? Put your hands together for him. So, we are seeing generational blessings across the years. Generational blessings across the years. So, let's be upstanding and Ato, let's sing one praise. Was we warm up to receive who my end to you share ne new nya ye bambo fu ke si ye hoa mo my end to you share ne new nya ye bambo fu ke si ye hoa o she ne su bo ne u baida na basa ne di ku ni wa ma ye o she ne su bo Nabasane di kuni wa mumayetu mumayetu nyoche ne nyonya ne bambo fuke si yehuwa mumayetu nyoche ne nyonya ne bambo fuke si oche yesu oche yesu boya ubaida nabasane di kuni wa oche yesu. Oh, 
available right when you go out at your right side and also gift table at the back so they actually be by our obituary earlier creature when you had the fair fair or find we if i say you are or sorry a bra yes it's a honor a bg yeah my man or you are sorry i want to invite mrs mavis or suffer i do to lead us at this hour Praise the Lord. Oh, who are Hannah? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our sight. I deem it such a great privilege to be called upon to lead the worship on such an august occasion. May the name of the Lord be praised forever and ever. I want us to read a short scripture, very, very, very inspiring scripture. In Revelation 21, Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 7.
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. Hallelujah. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away he who was seated on the throne said i am making everything new then he said write down write this down for these words are trustworthy and true he said to me it is done i am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end to him who is thirsty I will give to drink without cost. Last um, verse. He who overcomes will inherit all this. And I will be his God. And he will be my son. Hallelujah. Shall we please rise? As we think about this wonderful God. The omnipotent. The omnipresent. And the omniscient God. We have intelligence that the, the bride is ready. So, ushers, help us give it a signal. Let's usher him. Please remain seated a little bit. Let's be singing. Please, let's have the song roll. We will stand. Okay, we will stand. So, let the song roll for us. It's a recorded song. And we will be... So let's let the song roll.
leader. Let's give God the praise. Let's worship Him. Give God the praise. Give Him the worship. Give Him the honor. Give Him the adoration. For He alone deserves it. Onukuto no sen of attire ye. And now no pay. Onukuto no sen of attire We worship Your holy name. We give You the praise, Lord. We worship You in the beauty of Your holiness. We worship You in Your majesty. For there is none like unto You in every in our
Bless you. Mama, that's my wife. The Lord bless you so much. Hallelujah. Once again, you are welcome to this wonderful ceremony between Apostle Amoa, retired general secretary of the Church of Pentecost, and Justice Lady Julia at the East Legon Worship Center. As I already alerted you, we will shortly uh, welcome Mommy in. And so I just want to go ahead and acknowledge some dignitaries who are fellowshipping with us. First and foremost, let's welcome all pastors and their wives. If you can be upstanding with your wives and let's welcome you, all pastors and their wives from various areas who are here, all pastors and their wives, all pastors. Shall we welcome them? Wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let us also go ahead and welcome all area heads from other places, Ghana and Accra, I mean Ghana and, and beyond all over the world who are here with their wives all area heads, can we see you? And national heads, national heads. Please let's welcome them. My good friend from Masai. God bless you so much. Kenya. God bless you. I want to acknowledge the presence of all retirees and their wives who are here. Can we have our fathers? Shall we? 
Wonderful, 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 wonderful. God richly bless you. I want to recognize the presence of some of our executive members who currently are with us. We have Apostle Anane Dente, who is an executive member and is with us. Apostle, is Mama around? Okay. We also have Apostle Esu Asante, who is with us. Shall we welcome Apostle Esu Asante as well? And wife from Kaneshi, please shall we welcome Mama Asante? Is she here? Mama, God richly bless you. We also want to recognize Yeah. Apostle, uh, this is a retired apostle, but he was an executive member. Apostle, retired Echo Bedwood. Apostle, retired Echo Bedwood. Wonderful. Then we have Apostle, retired Alfred Kuria, is also with us. Apostle, God bless you. We also have one of our executive members who is currently uh, the head or he's the best man for this occasion. Uh, and I was saying that he looks very young uh, in, in, in his outfit. Uh, Apostle Jesse Ado. Uh, am I getting the signal? Are we ready? All right. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we want to usher her in. She has been waiting for quite some time, so let us give her the respect. I will continue this when she's ushered in. And so let us get the song rolling. We will remain seated as soon as she enters, then we'll... Let's gently take our seats and bless the Lord. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and handsome. Yes, you can take your seat, Baba and Mama. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We want to go ahead and introduce a few dignitaries and then continue with the rest of the program. As part of the officiating ministers, we have one of our area apostles also around. Apostle Mike Etru is also around. Executive Council member, currently the area head for Kofuri Dia. God richly bless you. We also have one of uh, a revered man of God here. We have Right Reverend Dr. George Kote Ni Kwe amongst us. Let's welcome him. God bless you, sir. We also have one of them who is known to most of us because of his crusades. Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete is also amongst us. Shall we welcome Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete. God bless you. Other dignitaries that I want to quickly uh, acknowledge. Honorable Elizabeth Saki, AMA boss. Honorable Elizabeth Saki. Shall we welcome Honorable Elizabeth Saki, AMA boss. Mommy God richly bless you. We currently have seen Mama Julia, Justice Lady Julia, being ushered in by one of our most revered chiefs on whose land we are. We have the Gamanche and all the sub-chiefs and retinue who are with us. Uh, I want to introduce H.K.M. 
Kentucky Teko Chiru, the second, Ga Manche. Shall we welcome him and all the retinue and the sub chiefs and queen mothers who came along with our revered king of the gas, uh, in whose territory we find ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, before we end, I want to also introduce the area head uh, on whose administrative area we are organizing this program, Boso, Martin Setapia, and Mama Dura Apia, who are with us. And then we have the chairman for this august occasion, who is chairing everything for us. That is in the person of Apostle Emmanuel Ajimai McQueen, the IMD of the Church of Pentecost. The IMD of the Church of Pentecost. Incidentally, he fellowships in this particular auditorium. And so this wedding is also his wedding. And uh, Mama Julia is also a member for the IMD. We want to move ahead with the rest of the program. We are going to go to the exchange of vows. For all of you whom we haven't yet acknowledged, I want to say you are warmly, warmly, warmly welcome to East Ligon Worship Center. And thank you so much for coming for this program. Let's invite Apostle Martin Setapia to take us forward in the exchange of vows. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May I humbly request that Apostle Albert Amwa, Justice Julia, if they can, please be on their feet. If you can, otherwise, if if you can, is it possible, please, brothers and sisters? We are gathered in the presence of God and this congregation to witness the union of Apostle Abet Amwa and Justice Julia Na Yale Ejei standing to witness the union of this standing before you in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate and of divine origin an institution. It is sanctioned or approved of in the Holy Scriptures and dignified and forever hallowed. For our Lord was present at the marriage at Cana in Galilee where he performed his first miracle. It speaks to us of the mystical union of Christ and his church. The Holy Scriptures say, marriage should be honored by all. So we must conclude, but it must not be regarded in a light manner, but undertaken and entered into in all solemnity with wisdom and forethought, reverently in the fear of God, with the understanding that it was first ordained for the mutual help, fellowship, and comfort that the one ought to have for the other, in prosperity and in adversity, for the honorable procreation of children and for their training in love, 
and obedience to the Lord. Into this holy bond, these two persons are now willing to enter. Therefore, if anyone here in this auditorium is aware of any just cause why these two may not be lawfully joined in marriage, let him now speak or forever hold his peace. Silence means consent. Shall we all shout a big amen? Please, may I humbly request who gives Julia to Albert this morning in marriage? Yes, sir. Um, please, you will have to hand over Julia to Albert. You hold the right hand. If Gamanche uh, has indicated he does. So you hold her right hand and hand her. Okay, let's put this together. Thank you. I require and charge you both, as you will answer at the day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts are made known, that if either of you knows of any lawful impediment, why you may not be joined in marriage, you confess it now. For the church, no one has anything between you. Okay. All right, Apostle Amwa, say it after me. I repeat it. In the microphone for. I do solemnly and faithfully declare. I do solemnly and faithfully declare. But I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I. Why I, Albert Amwa. May not be joined. May not be joined. In holy matrimony to in holy matrimony to to Julia Nayale AJ. Amen. So Justice Julia, you repeat same. I do solemnly and faithfully declare. I do faithfully and solemnly declare. <laughs> but I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I? Why I? Julia na yale ajay. May not be joined. May not be joined. In holy matrimony to. In holy matrimony to Albert Amoa. Good. Thank you. Now, Apostle Albert Amwa, will you have Justice Julia Na Yale Ajay standing here to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance, the state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? in sickness and in health and forsaking all other 
keep only her as long as you both shall live? If it is so, say, I will. I will. That's great. Justice Julia, will you have Apostle Amwa standing here now to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, and obey him in sickness and in health and forsaking all other, keep only him as long as you both shall live? If it is so, say, I will. I will. Good. So, Apostle Albert, say this. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I, Albert Amwa. Do take you. Do take you, Julia Na Yale Ajay. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And now therefore. And now therefore. I give you this token of love. I give you this token of love. So you give that token of love in the form of a ring. You say this. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and memorial. As, as a, a token, token and memorial. memorial. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. That's right. That's amazing. So, that's right. So, lady, who you be saying now? I call upon, upon all persons here present. I call upon all persons here present to witness that. To witness that I. I. Julia Na Yali Ajay, do take you, do take you, Albert Amoa, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Yeah, <laughs> so hold the mic in such a way that lady can look straight mm. into the eyes of mm. her darling. To have and to hold. To have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part so death do us holy ordinance according to god's holy ordinance and now therefore and now therefore i give you this token i give you of my love so you pick the token i give you this token of my love okay. 
Okay, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token and memorial. As a token and memorial that I have taken you that I have taken you to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded, wedded. husband. Fantastic. So you put it there. All right. Um, because of the COVID, which is not completely disappeared, uh, not that I don't have faith to, I will not place my hands on them, but probably make the sign. So, for as much as Apostle Albert Amwa and Justice. Julia, Na Yale Ajay have consented together in wedlock and have confessed the same before God and this gathering and have given and pledged their love to one another and have declared same to the giving and receiving of rings. And by the joining of hands, I, by the powers vested in me by the state and church as a marriage officer, now pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no separate. Amen. Amen. Wives, submit to your husbands. So, Julia, you submit to or so. Ask to the Lord. For a husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, also love Julia, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Amen. Blessed assurance. I invite the officiating minister of education. Apostle I want to invite all current executive council members, all former executive council members, our fathers, please join us current and former executive council members please apostle furi abua join us prophet amaya then reverend dr lawrence tete join us then reverend father kote nipe also join us please in all humility can we be on our feet Hallelujah, this is my story, this is my song, this is my Savior, of the Lord, this is my story, this is my
Apostle David Tekwe to pray. And after that, Apostle Ofori Abua will pronounce the blessings. Shall we pray? Father God, unto you alone do we give all praise, glory, and honor. We want to bless you this day, O God, for what you have done. Your purposes for our lives, O God, has come to pass this day. We bring before you Apostle Albert Amwa and Martin. We are praying that, Lord, your grace will hold them and bind them together. In spirit and in soul, you will grant unto them love, wisdom, and understanding. So as, Lord, they will move daily in your directions. Your presence, O oh Lord, will go along with them. Prosper them in all that they do. Father, we are praying. Grant them greater grace as they journey on as a husband and wife. Lead them daily in all that they do so that, Lord, your glory will be seen by all and we will together with all others give you praise for the greater things you're going to do even through their marriage. Cause love, oh God, to abound. Cause understanding, oh Lord, to abound. Father, cause everything that you desire that men and women of God display in marriage abound for them. Because your supply, Father, overflows in all things. May your grace, O oh Lord, continue. Bind them together in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Have we asked this? Amen. And now may the heavens be opened unto you. Great grace light to shine in your life. May the number of days ordained for you be with strength, vitality, joy, peace, and happiness. May this be your portion from the throne room of God. Peace unto you. Grace unto you. Refreshing unto you. May the dew of heaven always shine upon your life. Go in the peace of God. Amen. Congratulations. Prophet can come Bedito, executive member and the head of Ashama area. Shall we welcome uh, Apostle? And then uh, our mama, Mama um, Deborah Bequin is also in the house, the wife of our IMD. Mama Deborah Bequin, you are wel warmly welcome. She is the mother of uh, this house as well. 
they are all here. Let's call, while they are singing, we'll be taking our offering. At the same time, Apostle and Lady Julia will be going there to sign. So, uh, if the Cape Coast area, uh, Assembly, if you are here, bring your song. And once they are doing that, we will take one single offering. If you came here with a gift for the couple, please try and make, uh, just move to the back. They will help you to drop your gift. And so, Papa and Mama, uh, you'll be going to sign. Please, those who are going to be signing along with them, kindly pay attention. From the side of the groom, that is Apostle Amoa's family, Enoch Amoa, Enoch Amoa, you will sign with them. Madam Gifty O and Sa, you will sign. That is from Apostle Amoa's family. Then Israel Ago Ajay, Israel Ago Ajay, and then Jeanette Ofori, that is from the bride, Israel Ago Ajay, and Jeanette Ofori. Then the church, the church, Elder Joseph Kwashi, Elder Kweku Menu, Elder Thomas Baini, please be within reach. So when it's your time, you can help us do this quickly. And then uh, our officiating minister, Apostle MS Apia, as well. So all of us must be within reach to sign. Cape Coast Assembly, uh, our Assembly. Uh, ushers help us, the bowl is here. Ushers help us, the bowl. While they are singing the song, we'll be taking our offering. When they are done, the choir will go ahead whilst we are still taking our offering. God bless you. Na kwenye na ayefe, ayefe, ayefe. Na kwenye na ayefe, na tempo ya. Hallelujah. Na kwenye na ayefe, ayefe, ayefe. Na kwenye na ayefe, na tempo.
singing, I want to acknowledge the presence of one of the former ministers who served in Ghana, the Honorable Dr. Spiogaba. Dr. Spiogaba, say, Dr. Spiogaba, making it to this wonderful ceremony. We want to call, call on the Divine Priest Choir, that is the choir for East Legon Worship Center. By the way, the MC, the conductor, my name is Joseph Osafo Edu. I'm the resident minister of this particular church. And this is the choir. They will sing a song whilst the others go there to sign. Then when they are done, we shall continue. Hallelujah. So when you answer, so we'll have find the cafe. Can't shake me. You walk a boy, see me. Careful, you're not a good. I want you to profess your thing. No. 
appear to introduce them as they come in so that we can dance more. Please, with Carmen, Apostle Len.
Emmanuel Ajman Bequen, the chairman of this occasion, please be upstanding. With great joy, we want to introduce to you the new, brand new, and fresh couples of the day. Apostle Albert and Mrs. Amua. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, Daddy and Mommy, and God be with you. Amen. Please, you can sit. Amen. I thought that you put your hands together and bless the Lord for their lives. All things are possible to him who believes. There's a possibility going on here. Hallelujah. We want to go ahead and listen to some inspirations, some word from one of our apostles. So sit well. And those of you who are standing at the back, please, we have chairs at the top. So ushers, you can help them. We have, we have chairs at the top. Right. So that you can uh, save a bit of strain. We are inviting to share the word of God with us. Apostle Echo Bedwood retired. Praise the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Our international missions direct privilege. I appreciate our Medina area head, Apostle M.S. Apia, and also all colleague ministers here present. I honor your majesty the overlord of the land, together with all the Nime and Name who are here. To the couple, Apostle Albert, and now Justice Mrs. Julia Nayali Amoa. Our copious congratulations. Today is your special day. And this day is unique because of the black stars. And also the reading of the most anticipated budget in recent times. How can we forget this day? My theme this morning is the marriage of the lamb. The marriage of the Lamb. And I think this one takes precedence over all the others. And uh, the text is Revelations 19, verses 6 to 9. I will weave into the message 
the passages that were taken during the worship. For the sermon outline, I intend to go through the four verses, one after the other, and uh, then the presentation will end. Verse 6 says, Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like loud peals of thunder, shouting, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Before then, this passage usually is used during worship. But this time, it is the basis for an exhortation. As a result, a bit of background will, be, will do for now. First of all, the passage is eschatological and concerns events in the future. The passage concerns events in the future when our Lord Jesus will come down physically and commence his millennial reign on earth. In that day, the relationship between the reigning sovereign and his elect will be so close, so intense, and so unlike any ordinary relationship that John compares it to the intimacy and oneness in marriage. So when will be so intimate. So John trying to get something to represent it compares that relationship to the intimacy and oneness of marriage. This new intimacy between heaven and earth is preempted in Revelation 21 verse 2, which we read. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. Heaven and earth will marry. The apostle Paul envisages the same in Ephesians 5 verse 32. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. Even the prophet Hosea, 2 verse 19, he says, I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness and justice, in love and compassion. I chose this verse because of justice inside it. I mused when I read it. A betrothal is a formal invitation and preparation to marry. That is what a betrothal is. Good. In that day, the heavenly host will join in the joyful celebration. Let us picture the composition of this joyful assembly. One, the four living creatures. Two, the four and twenty elders. Three, the angelic hosts in heaven. And four, the saints triumphant. For us in the Church of Pentecost, the saints triumphant are ever led by James McKeown. Flanked by the pencils. Sophia McKeon and the Eunice Addisons. Followed by the myriads of loved ones from among us who have taken the lead to heaven. Wow. I am amazed by their enthusiasm as they rise to a crescendo in their approval of the betrothal. They are not reserved or withholding, but are vibrant, celebratory, and echoing hallelujah for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Wow. Hallelujah 
is Hebrew for praise the Lord. So when we say praise the Lord, it is Hebrew plus hallelujah. So hallelujah is every language. Praise the Lord is the same thing. So hallelujah is Hebrew for praise the Lord. Hallelujah is an exhortation to rejoice without restraint. And this morning, we are rejoicing without reservation. It is a command to praise the Lord and not be half-hearted in so doing. This morning, it is hallelujah for the celebration of this marriage because the Lord God Almighty reigns. Give me amen. Let it flow like thunder. Correct. He reigns because he is in charge of every nitty gritty of our lives. The Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. The Apostle's admonition is not to thank God for everything that life throws at us. We don't thank God for everything that life throws at us, but rather to be thankful in every situation we are plunged in. We are thankful not for, but in the situation. And in this situation, we are so thankful in our adoration to God. Verse 7, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready. And when Julia was responding, I could, I could sense the readiness. Wow. The bride has made herself ready. But take note, the heavenly assembly views the marriage more as the wedding of the lamb than as the wedding of the bride. In our local, it is more of the bride. By heaven, it is more of the lamb than of the bride. A ceremony of this magnitude is made possible only because a groom initiated a decision to take a bride, marry her, and to do so gorgeously. It is indeed his celebration. And Albert, we are celebrating you. That is why we are here in our numbers. Give me an amen. Correct. The bride shares in the celebration by making herself ready. We, as the bride of the Lord, we know that the tool for readiness is the word. And the foremost scripture preceding all marriage is Genesis 2.18, which has been read. Genesis 2.18. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Wow. This verse is preeminent and is foundational to all successful marriages. At the start of the marriage institution, God the Father introduced marriage with the novelty that it is not good for the man to be alone. It was not good then, and it is not good even today. The army should have come. I'm not preaching alone, I'm preaching with you too. It is not good for any wife's husband to be alone. To any wife, I say, leaving your husband alone is not a good idea. So, Justice Nayale, 
as you have now translated from bride to wife, you shall be mindful to be companion to your groom so that he is not alone. Oh, the army didn't come. A woman who is a wife is the only one equipped with the mystery that cures loneliness in any husband. Such a wife and companion is the ideal helper God designed for a man longing for a wife. She endeavors to be at his side all the time in order to keep the nest warm. Solomon puts it this way. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. So, a wife who is a helpmeet to her husband shall be at his side. Emotionally, in affection, intellectually, in conversation, nutritionally, for health and nature, spiritually, by involving herself in his devotional and church life, and not the least, physically, to comfort him with all her divinely endowed feminine antics. A wife who is helper in this manner is worth more than rubies. Oh, I thought you say amen to that. Verse 8. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people. Fine linen, bright and clean, is a, pro is a proverbial reminder to the bride, now wife. In her profession and lifestyle, to be mindful to avoid situations that are controversial and raise eyebrows that could soil her garments. For example, once again, in our culture as Church of Pentecost, once a general secretary, forever a general secretary, even in retirement. In so far as we are concerned, we are today, we have not only created an apostle's wife, we also have the wife of our general secretary. And we accordingly accord to you all the protocols. You are to adjust to the dignity of the covering you have from today. I thought you say amen. And you will see that all the pastor's wives, when they meet you, will give you the honor. Because whether you came early or late, you are still the wife of our general secretary. This is a brand new marriage. And both of you are to adjust to your new calling as husband and wife. First Peter 3, 8 to 9 says, Finally, both of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not pay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. Verse 9. And that's the end. The angel said to me, write, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, These are the true words of God. Albert 
and Julia. What I am telling you is true. Those of us you see around today rejoice greatly. And the loved ones who have gone are even more ecstatic. So let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. And shall we say amen? amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Inspiring message. Put your hands together and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We shall call on uh, Apostle Ezra Sante to just pray over this message. Let's move on. Shall we close our eyes as we sit down? Father in heaven, once again, we want to bless you for this time. We thank you for your word that you've given to us concerning marriage. You know you are speaking to the newly couple, but you are also speaking to us. And even as we commit ourselves into your hands, we pray that these words of yours will work in the life of our newly coupled in the name of Jesus. And Father, let these words also work in our lives. We know you will do that. In Jesus' name, we bless you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Amen, Papa. God bless you so much. All right. And so, we're going to get the couple's response. Mr. and Mrs. Amoa. I thought you were happy for them. We put your hands together as we say that. Yeah. Um, for us, I was telling our members that I have lawyers here, but now I have a justice as well. So if you play with me, I refer to my justice. Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to take their response. In fact, they can be standing here. So let's invite the latest couple in town for their response as they come. Put your hands together. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, Amen. on behalf of uh, Julia, my wife, <laughs> and on my own behalf, I would like to say thank you, first and foremost, to our Lord God, who has made this possible. No one ever thought that at this time in our lives, Julia will have a husband and Albert will have a wife. But it is the uh, working of the Lord. The Lord God has done this. And I hope you will join me in saying a big thank you to our God. 
The one who made the impossible possible. Yes, with our God, all things are possible. Shall we then all together say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, on Julia's behalf and on my own behalf, we would like to thank the leaders of our church, the Church of Pentecost, the chairman and the executive council. I did consult with each and every one of them when the Lord placed it on my heart to join hands with Julia and to live together. All the comments I received from members of the executive council were positive. They all believed that we were taking the right step in our lives. This morning, the chairman uh, called from Tamale and said, uh, he is with us in spirit. The general secretary has traveled outside the country. He also sent a message saying that he is with us. And all the members of the executive council, we are so grateful to each and every one of them. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have been here, especially the leadership of Medina area and Hacho area. All the ministers and their wives who have made time to be here with us and to witness history. You have come to witness history. You have come to witness history. So you will have something to write about. You will certainly have something to write about. We want to thank all of you for coming, our Lord and our God. Bless you now and forever. I want to thank the leadership of the church here. The, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, East Legon Worship Center. For all that they have gone through. So that we have been able to have our wedding held here. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. May he from his stone house above shower all the good things, all the blessings on you forever and ever. Can I take this opportunity to thank the king, the Gamanche, the king. The other time I went to his office and then when now Julia is the chief of staff, The king welcomed me nicely. He was then holding a meeting with uh, some white people. And I'm happy what he said has come through, that he was going to uh, walk Julia and present her to me. And he has done that today. <laughs> king, I nearly said Nana. Ni? Thank you very much and all the chiefs and the queens who came with you. Julia and I are so grateful to you. We will never forget what you have done for us. We want to say thank you again and again. All the queens, all the uh, chiefs and uh, all others who accompanied the king to this celebration, to this gathering, we say thank you. I will not be able to mention one after the other, all of you who have come, but the Lord God knows that you are here and that all the blessings our God is showering on us, you certainly have your portion. So thank you very much. Those from Cape Coast, those from Ola and Akotachere uh, District, those from my assembly, Akotachere 
and all others from Cape Coast area and elsewhere. We say thank you, thank you, thank you again and again and again. May the Lord God bless each and every one. I thank you all members who have also gathered here. I thank family members on both sides. We love you so much and you have also demonstrated to us that you really love us. Thank you and may God bless you. Amen. to make a few remarks. And so I will gently and humbly walk to Gamanche. Please, if you can come and help us. Ago Chame Kayeme Ago Chame Kayeme Ago Nime Kaname No more A Biasuma A Biasuma Okatechi Afadi A Chantel Slu A Munaslu Je Moyona Je me honor, je me honor. Oh, oh, hey. Come on, Bonnie. Come on, Bonnie, yo. I can see me now. I draw. Mo draw mo na. If you no need bafi, if you fall. Ayale, what will they say? Are you cool? Hey, you cool? What about the ni? What then? Che, who walk cross? Who money? You on your thing? Who is small? Actually, if you umanye, a jomo, a hanye, try no manyaba. Also, I would like to also extend their heartfelt gratitude to all the missionaries who are here uh, from the U.S., from, the East, from East Africa, and from Europe, and from all over the world. Thank you for coming. Thank Amen. you. Amen. We are getting to the end of the program. Let me announce the third time that if you came here with any gift, for the couple, you can go to the back, who will take your gift, and then make an entry so that the couple later can acknowledge your present to them. So you can go to the back and we will help you. I'd like to uh, invite one of our missionaries or head of the church among the Maasai in Kenya. He is going to help us do the closing prayer. Uh, Apostle Simon Montololo Oli is an area head, Maroc, Kenya. Uh, if you go there, he is doing a wonderful job. In fact, he came in the person of Pastor Simon Nakulto, 
who is also area head of Najeli area, Maasai, Kenya. I'd like us to all be upstanding as we invite Apostle Simon Montolo Ole, area head, to come and bless us or pray for us. Come and pray. Come and pray for us. Closing prayer. And then when he is done with the closing prayer, we will invite right Reverend Dr. George Cote. All right. I think that was a mistake. Yes, that was a mistake. When he is done, we will invite uh, Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete to give us the closing uh, benediction. The benediction. Closing prayer benediction are quite confusing. So he will pray for us and then Apostle Dr. Tete will bless us. everybody let me pray in ma aba lang losodwa kai na dore ngob ondo grimbo gnati tera ngara ya no long nin jor gito lang me wa mesho tera ngara ya mbiri sino ni ndudu moyo da nako tera ngara ya ngoloni no wenyo rada ino wana na bo gneta sa wenke se sang mi ya kwe di marasa tera ngara ya albatamwa lo sorella lo la rinkumo ko ibelega nyengi si yolda wana kumok wena romono nyenye tangai te bogotogi doria yo te bogotogi ya gwangai bogot te bogotogi na rangar ne baba wena ngerai wena alde sinyadi yo moni amen My fear has found Everest. Not in device, no creed. Oh, not in device, no creed. I trust the ever living one. I trust the ever living one. His wounds for me shall bleed. His wounds for me shall bleed. I need no other argument. I need no other I need no other plea I need no other plea It is enough It is enough That is the died That my Jesus died Song says, My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. I trust the ever living one, his wounds for me shall bleed. I need no other argument, I need no other plea. We see that in our brother Albert and our sister Julia today, we come in, Mr. and Mrs. Amwa. That it is enough that Jesus died, died for me. May the good Lord keep you, may the good Lord bless you. May who knows the source of your problem solve your problem. May the God who has been your source of inspiration in the many years past be your hope for the days to come. May he who knows the secret places of your heart bless you beyond measure. We use our brother Albert and our sister Julia even as a point of contact. And anybody who has ever believed God for a breakthrough, the Lord will bless you and bring to pass that miracle. I need no other argument and I, I need no another plea it is that Jesus died and I die for me and to the one who is able to keep it for you the one and only wise God the Lord bless you and give you long life, blessings, prosperity, and above all things, may you know God in his beauty and the power of his holiness. God bless you. We'll be doing, we're singing the recession hymn.
and as we receive, we'll be doing a recession, followed by the leaders, traditional leader, and then the officiating ministers. Then we'll come back here. So it goes that way and come back here. We are taking all the pictures here so that we can leave. So to God be the glory, great things he has done as we allow to God be the glory. We're taking the pictures here. Great things he has done so lovely the world that he gave us is who yield, who yield, is life and to man for sin and open the life gate that all. Taking the photographs, all officiating ministers, all officiating. You are most welcome as the chairman of this occasion. Thank you so much. So, please, we shall take some 30 seconds from the mayor of Accra just to be sure she has accepted it. And also, Apostle Nyako, also to accept. Move on. Good afternoon, everyone. 
everybody. I'm so pleased and grateful that you have shown up. Without you, we can think, though God is in the seat, but then we need more disciples like you to join the race 